Hello everyone, Dan Calloway here, and today I want to uh, talk about a, a new Linux distribution that I've started using, I've fallen in love with. Uh, it's now my daily driver um, on my business laptop, my Dell Latitude, and it's called Silent OS, and it's developed by a guy named Silent Robot, and he's got a YouTube channel. I subscribe to him up there. Uh, great guy. Uh, I highly recommend you go up and look at Silent Robot, Silent Dash Robot YouTube channel, and check out his videos and subscribe to him and uh, like his videos as well. You'll you'll really love it. He's developed a new operating system called Silent OS, and it's a based on Arch Linux. It's a XFCE uh, desktop environment. Uh, I really like it. Um, I'm an Arch lover, Arch Linux user for a long time. Um, I have installed vanilla Arch using uh, source code, and it's a difficult thing to do, but it can be done. Uh, but I like to use distributions if I can that's already been developed and supported. Uh, Silent OS is one that I've grabbed because I, I will be keeping this. This is my daily driver now on my laptop. Uh, I had started out with... Uh, Vanilla Arch, as I said, moved on to Manjaro, went to Anergos Linux, and then to Arch Labs. But then I discovered Silent OS, and uh, it's it's a keeper. Uh, I just can't believe uh, all the work that uh, Silent Robot has put into this is just remarkable. My hat's off to him. It's a great job. Let me show you around. If you right-click on the desktop and select uh, Settings and Desktop, that gets you into the desktop itself uh, so that you can look at wallpaper and, and some other theming that you can do here. I've selected this one. I'm going to keep that one here. But look at all that you got. I mean, this is amazing, all of the uh, wallpaper that's available to you. Of course, you can uh, change the folder away from backgrounds, uh, and you can select you know, your own picture folder, picture directory, or you can go out on the web and download some more if you want to do that as well. Uh, but I've selected uh, the one I have and uh, it's, it's a simple matter of changing you know to another wallpaper you just select the new wallpaper changes it in the background click close and you got it okay. Um, let me go back select the one I had and close and so this is the one I want to keep. So uh, you know this this very responsive operating system by the way uh, let me do something here. Let me right click and go into the terminal and show you that uh, if I run HTOP, uh, right now I'm pulling 682 megs out of 8 gigs uh, using HTOP. Uh, that's still very good. That's a little over half a gig of memory uh, allocation out of 8 allocated rather for the system. So I'm only pulling 667 right now, uh, megs or half a gig, basically. Um, not bad. Uh, good performance for this operating system. Um, so let me go ahead and close HTOP and close the window. If I do a right click and get into the terminal again, um, I'm going to run a command that shows me my memory allocation or usage and so that's the free command with the dash M or the M switch so it says that I'm using 578 out of 8 gigs available so 578 megs out of 8 and so it's going to show less because I'm not running HTOP I am screencasting here with simple screen recorder so that's why I'm using a lot more uh, if I fire up Silent OS's Arch Linux system without running um, simple screen recorder to screencast, it averages around 370, 350 to 370 megs out of 8 gigs. Not bad at all. All right, so let me run the uname command with an R switch. And uh, let's take a look at the kernel version I'm running, which is 4.20.7-arch1-1-arch. Um, which is the latest uh, kernel version uh, for Arch Linux, XFCE. Uh, very nice. Very responsive systems. Let me get out of this. Hold on, before I get out of it, let me 
tell you that when you install uh, Arch Linux, um, especially it's on an OS, you can run uh, two commands to update the system. I highly recommend you do that, and you should do that. You can do a sudo pacman, which uses the pacman package manager, dash uh, capital S Y U. You could do it that way, but Silent OS has uh, two aliases already set up in the system for you to use. You can use to one to update or upgrade the uh, or update rather the repositories and one to upgrade the system once you've updated the repositories. I've already done that, but I'll run it again. So these two aliases are pack update to update the repositories, update the database, and you can see we have four repositories here, core, extra, community, and multilib. And then after you've updated the repositories, you can upgrade the system with the pack upg. And that actually goes out and does a full system upgrade. Of course, there's nothing to do because I've already done that. But run those two aliases. So it's nice that Silent OS has aliases already built in for the user. Uh, so you don't have to remember the pacman syu command. All right, so let's go ahead and exit out of here. Back to the desktop, and uh, I want to show you uh, what we have here for panels. I've got uh, a panel over here that was at the bottom, and what I did was I did a right click on the panel, did a panel preference, and uh, what I did was I unlocked the panel by unticking this box here, and I changed that from horizontal, which is what it initially was set to, okay, which was pulled down here to the bottom and then I did a down arrow and vertical and then snapped it over to the left hand side of the screen and then I locked the panel back uh, once I went in and looked at the appearance which has got the standard system style um, and opacity and then of course uh, something I didn't show you in display you can change the row size here by moving this uh, curse slider here left or right Number of rows, you can change that as well, and then length is 10 uh, percent of the real estate here across. Length is automatically set to increase as I add items because I've got this ticked. And so if I go under items here, if I were to add an item, this would automatically increase the length of this panel. And uh, of course, then its appearance is, like I said, standard with the system. I can change that if I wanted to change it to solid color or background. Let me go ahead and close that after I lock the panel back again. So let me go back to um, display and let's lock the panel back and close. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have Thunar File Manager, XFCE Terminal, uh, Settings Manager, the Desktop. I've got Chromium Browser and Firefox. If I do a Firefox web browser launch that to show you what version I have uh, if I come up and do menu and then help and about Firefox you can see that I am running Firefox Quantum 65.064 bit for Arch that's the latest version okay very nice web browser I use Firefox I don't use Chromium although I do keep it on here um, all right, so we've got Blender 2.8, we've got GIMP 2.10, latest version. It's the graphical package manager, uh, manipulator. Lutris Steam, which is for, for gamers. The uh, Silent OS has, uh, in, he's built this uh, Silent OS uh, Arch Linux system specifically for gamers and enthusiasts. He's, he's, he's set it up for them, but typical users can still use it. Uh, I do have a Steam account, and I do have a Steam game I use, or that I run. Bomi, uh, for playing uh, media, uh, for videos, etc., and audio. It's an alternative to VLC Media Player. And then, of course, I'm using Simple Screen Recorder for screencasting right now. Okay. Uh, if you come up here, if you click this down arrow, it brings up what's called the Whisker menu. Nice menu. Um, you can come across, and you can see... You know that from from this selection here it expands out and so you've got various things clipman you know 
bulk rename, HP device manager for your HP devices. I've got an HP printer that I'll be using this to set that up. I've got a KeyPass XC that did not come out of the box. That's a, a, a password manager that I have set up. I've used for years and I, I, I'm going to keep it. Uh, a very nice password manager. I highly recommend it for anybody that needs a password manager for your system, for all your passwords, that, for, for accessing the web and your applications. Uh, I've got the K, v, uh, K Vantum Manager, not sure what that is. Notes, Redshift, Screenshot, Text Editor, Thunar File Manager, and Vim. When you set up Vim the first time, uh, it's going to walk you through a configuration process, which is already completed for me here. Um, and um, you'll eventually, when you quit it and get out of it and get back in it, you'll come up to this right here. So. I use Vim. A lot of people don't use Vim. They use Nano instead. I like Vim. Um, and let's get back into the uh, Whisker menu. Um, some other things here. Development. You've got Fluid and uh, Meld. Games. You've got Steam, of course. Lutris. Steam Runtime and Native. Graphics. You've got uh, your dark table for rendering your videos. GIMP. GPIC, Inkscape, Nomax, uh, Raw Therapy, and Simple Scan. It's a scanner software. Internet, you've got your SSH server at VNC, FileZilla, Firefox. I've got GFTP, uh, which is a GNOME file transfer protocol manager or client. Um, I like it because I just like it. It's got two sides. You've got your local system and your remote over here. It's kind of like uh, um, you know, your file editor and, and Windows. Uh, for that reason I like it. I've got a, an account set up on my personal cloud. I've got a six terabyte personal cloud and I like it because I, it's under my management, under my control. So I don't have to have a Dropbox account or anything like that on the web uh, for, for storing my stuff. And I've got the uh, username set up, and uh, it's up on my network at 192.168.1.157. So if I click this button here, it's prompting me for my password. And when I put that in, it connects me to my personal cloud. So this is my personal cloud here. Got a ton of stuff up here. Uh, probably two or three terabytes of stuff out of six. So I've got plenty of room. I've been using this uh, personal cloud uh, oh, for about three or four years now, so you know, I'll never fill it up. All right, so if I want to pull something from the personal cloud down to my local system, I can just use this arrow here once I select it, and it downloads it. If I want to go the other direction from my personal system up to the personal cloud to store it for archiving purposes, I just hit this up arrow here, or the right arrow for uploading rather to the personal cloud and very easy to do very quick all right so let me go ahead and close this get out of it come back into the whisker menu and let's pull that down and we were on internet I believe uh, telegram desktop Thunderbird mail client uh, transmission which is a BitTorrent client kinda like qubit torrent uh, multimedia, you got a whole range here out of the box. Audacity, Bomi, Xfalso, which goes along with Quadlabet, which is kind of like an iTunes music manager. Okay. Uh, Handbrake for um, use in converting uh, file types for audio video. Caden Live, uh, LMMS, OBS for your uh, broadcast streaming, if you're a broadcast streamer. Package, or patchage, it's called, pathage. Uh, some other things, Quadlabet, like I said, Simple Screen Recorder, VLC, a Media Player, and then the volume icon, of course. Uh, Office, there's not a lot there. He uh, left that kind of open so that you, you as the user can install your own package. I'm going to install probably WPS Office Suite in here. He does have uh, Zathura. Uh, other, you've got your NVIDIA uh, X server settings. So 
all the NVIDIA drivers are already here for you if you're a gamer. And that was intentional on the part of Silent Robot for people that uh, are gamers and enthusiasts because typically the uh, uh, non-integrated uh, uh, graphics cards are NVIDIA cards. And so that was set up so that the user did not have to install their own NVIDIA card drivers to support their NVIDIA card. Uh, so that's very nice of uh, Silent Robot to do as well. Under Settings, you've got Accessibility, PAMEC, which is the Add Remove Software, uh, Advanced Network Configuration, Appearance, Bluetooth Adapters, Desktop Display, File Manager, Firewall Configuration, Keyboard, um, Mouse and Touchpad, Panel and Notifications. Under System, here you've got uh, the Avahi Zero Conf Browser, Bulk Rename, the GNOME uh, Partition Manager or Utility called Gparted, HTOP. I noticed that um, Silent Robot put Kitty in here. That's nice. Printer Settings, Sensor Viewer, Software Updater. You can click that, and that's the GUI front end for your updater if you don't want to go into the terminal to update your system. You can use the Software Updater. Task Manager, Thunar File Manager, XFCE Terminal. We'll say it here, get it right in a moment. All right, so that's the Whisker Manager, or Whisker Menu. And then you've got another panel over here for the typical standard players, which is your battery monitor, uh, your volume control. You've got uh, your um, wireless uh, network manager here. Uh, you've got the, your uh, update notifier to let you know and you've got updates. You've got your time and time zone and calendar here, okay? And then you've got your log out here. So if I click log out, it brings up the menu for log out, restart, shutdown, suspend, or hibernate. All right, and then I've got a desktop workspace. We've got four of them set up over here and I set it up using the workspace switcher that I added to the panel and then I used uh, set it up to configure it for two rows instead of one row so it doesn't use up quite as much real estate that does it in two rows. So anyway so that's kind of a quick review there of uh, silent OS's or silent robots rather silent OS Arch Linux distribution based on XS, XFCE very nice operating system. Highly recommend that you uh, go get it. You can download it from SourceForge. If you go up to Silent Robot's uh, YouTube channel, uh, he's got a link in there for clicking on that to download that for yourself and install it in bare metal. comes with a live installer, a live CD version, so you can run it first to see if it's going to support your hardware, and then you can install it after you've looked at it. Uh, I jumped on it right away. Uh, couldn't 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 wait to get it on my bare metal laptop, business laptop, and it, it's running like a champ. Uh, very responsive system. Uh, it was previewed um, also on uh, Backyard Tech's YouTube channel, Backyard Dash T E C H. Highly re recommend you guys go up and check out Backyard Tech. He's a guy out of Australia. Uh, He's a hardware guy, not so much a software guy, but he does software installations and reviews. And he did Silent Robot, Silent OS, did a great job. So go check him out as well uh, and uh, support him by subscribing to him and uploading or uh, liking, rather, his uh, videos. You can upload his videos, too, if you like. Um, but I uh, also belong to his Facebook, Facebook uh, channel. And um, and I support him that way. But go ahead and support Backyard Tech and support Silent Robot, if you will. So anyway, have a nice day. This has uh, been a review of Silent OS from Silent Robot. I highly recommend you go get it. Have a nice day.